Bautista is teaching Kumail Nanjani how to be a cop with varying results in the Stuber Red Van trailer. The unlikely buddy cop comedy premiered earlier this year at South by Southwest mostly positive reviews from critics and now the general public will get a chance to see it next month when it officially opens. The latest look at the comedy shows that Bautista and Nanjani are about to get beat up quite a bit with fists and guns. Stuber stars Kumail Nanjani as an unassuming Uber driver named Stu who picks up Dave Bautista's big character. The two get off to a bad start when Stu compares Vic's look to the Terminator, but they end up getting into a pretty wild adventure soon after. Vic is a police detective on a mission and Stu is now his partner, learning the ropes as he goes along. Things don't ever really look like they go right for the duo, but that's where the comedy comes into play. At one point in the Stuber Red Band trailer, Stu has the chance to take out one of Vic's assailants with a gun. After some hesitation, he fires the gun, only to find out that the cartridge is empty. Stu throws the gun in an effort to take out the attacker. Instead, the attacker catches the gun, beats Vic with it and then takes Stu out with a blow to the head. It's a rapid-fire moment and shows just how inexperienced Stu is when it comes to being a police detective and sets the tone for the movie rather well. Things will undoubtedly change by the time the credits roll. Related, Stuber South by Southwest Review, the unlikely buddy cop action comedy We Deserve Dave Bautista was able to clear some time in his busy schedule to sign on to Stuber in 2017 with Kumail Nanjani signing on in 2018. Production started in May 2018 and lasted through July in Atlanta. Comedy was directed by Michael Dowse from a script written by Tripper Clancy and serves as Disney's first R-rated distributed movie from their recent Fox acquisition. The last movie the studio distributed with an R rating was 2013's The Fifth Estate. In addition to Bautista and Nanjani, the movie also stars Ico Weiss, Natalie Morales, Betty Gilpin, Jimmy Tatro, Mira Sorvino, and Karen Gillan. Stuber hits theaters on July 12, so mark your calendars. The comedy will more than likely have to battle Sony and Marvel Studios' Spider-Man, Far From Home, which opens 10 days earlier to get a head start on the July 4th holiday weekend, but it is anticipated to have a pretty decent box office run when all is said and done. It's the first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie to hit theaters since April's Avengers Endgame, which Dave Bautista also starred in, and audiences are going to be eager to see what the world looks like after some new snaps. You can check out the Stuber Red Band trailer below, thanks to the 20th Century Fox YouTube channel. Topics, Stuber writer for Movie Web since 2017. Enjoys playing Catan when not writing about superheroes and Star Wars. Let's block ads. Why? 